Trenton War Memorial is tucked away between a yew hedge and a gloomy mausoleum. It hardly merits a glance. The focus on the World War I centenary made us stop and look. Incised into the stone are the words, in grateful memory of the men of Trenton who fell in the Great War. There follows 17 names, no dates, no ranks, no regiments, all equal in death. Who were these men who, 100 years ago, were walking the same roads we walk today? Trentham NWR decided to find out. We wanted to uncover the lives behind the names. Over 40 Trenton men went to war, 16 of them were destined never to return. In 1914, Trenton was a village on the edge of the potteries surrounded by farmland. Life was dominated by the Trenton estate. Most of the men were born locally and were rooted within this community. They mainly worked in clerical, agricultural and manual occupations. One of these was Joseph Howard Bassett. Born at Strongford Farm on the 6th of January 1897, Joseph was the youngest of seven children. Aged 19, he left his family, his sweetheart and his life on the farm to join the Machine Gun Corps. He trained to fire a gun ride a motorcycle and wear a uniform for his king and country. From tented barracks, he was shipped to France and was at the Somme in the autumn of 1916 until he was invalided home to Belton Park Military Hospital to die in February 1917, aged just 20. Joseph lies buried at St Luke's Church in Tittensa. Another casualty, Claude Raymond Force, was not a Staffordshire man, but he left his mark on Trentham, where he was not only headmaster of Trentham Elementary School, but also a member of the parish council. Leaving his wife, Margaret, and three children, Claude served with the Royal Garrison Artillery and went to the front in December 1916, where he was hit by a shell and died on April the 30th, 1918, aged 39. His final resting place is at Eblingham Military Cemetery in France. All but two of the Trenton men now lie in foreign fields of France, Belgium or South Africa, but they are not forgotten. To us, they have become so much more than 17 names on the memorial. Undoubtedly, they were all loved and grievously missed by their families, wives and mothers particularly. And that is perhaps why the inscription on the memorial reads, this memorial cross is the gift of the women of Trenton. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Joseph Howard Bassett, William Edward Brandrick, William Challoner, William Clark, Stanley Fiddler, Claude Raymond Force, Thomas Hemmings, John Pearson Housen, Alan Stuart Hughes, Leonard Johnson, Sidney Charles Jones, William Jones, George Paget, George Rogers, Harold Smith, Arthur Thorley, Harry Thorley.